The following is a presentation of Muddy River News. Just what has changed in Hannibal at the Mark Twain Boyhood Home and Museum in the last 46 years? We'll find out on Muddy River Gems, brought to you by Dot Foods. In January of 1978, I arrived on the scene mm -hmm. here uh, at the Mark Twain Museum. And at that time, uh, right here on the museum mall, we had four buildings, and that's what we had open to the public. Mm -hmm. Well, Henry, we've made our way into the museum gallery. Well, we wanted to maximize the visitor's experience in the building. We wanted to convey a number of Mark Twain's books. So here on the first floor, you come in and we have scenes that are obviously three-dimensional scenes mm -hmm. relating to Adventures of Tom Sawyer, which is probably the most read of Mark Twain's books, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. That's coming up on the next Muddy River Gem, brought to you by Dot Food. Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Steve Virel. Hi Steve, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm doing well, and you? Oh, fantastic. Uh, you know, couldn't ask for more. It's like the beginning of the, the, the holiday season is upon us. I'm feeling really in the spirit. Sometimes that kind of wanes, but we'll see. Uh, but So you are with the Mark Twain Home Foundation, correct? Yes, ma'am. In Hannibal. Yes. Well, welcome. Welcome to Quincy. Thank you. I'm sure this isn't your first time, but just felt the need to say that. So uh, you guys are doing something that will also get people in the holiday spirit, which is spirits and sarcasm. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's and our second annual. Is it, what? so is it like bourbon tasting? What is it? It will be. Okay. It will be a bourbon tasting. We've got a gentleman from St. Louis, from the Spirit of St. Louis Drinking Group, that is coming up to tell us the nuances of bourbon tasting. Now, are you a connoisseur? I, w I participated in the first annual yeah. and thought, mm, but I'm not a huge bourbon fan. No? But it was interesting to hear his experiences, how to bring out the flavors in the bourbons, the stories of what his group does. So it, it was a very fun evening. I went in and didn't know what to expect. Yeah. It was a very fun evening. Yeah, I'm not a connoisseur, but I do like, I, I like listening to people who know more about it than I do because it is interesting to see these people kind of show their stuff. It is. He teaches you how to sniff and then cool it down and bring out the different flavors in the bourbons if it's a certain percentage of alcohol. So, wow, I didn't know that wow. much went into bourbon tasting. I didn't either. The yeah. experienced connoisseurs are like, that was a great event. That's so awesome. We're looking for great success again for the second annual. There'll be five pours. Okay. So now when it comes, so that's, of course, the spirits part. Now, sarcasm, what is that? So Mark Twain had a love for his own whiskey, and he was very sarcastic. So there are different tales that our MCs will be telling, tying Mark Twain to the event for a little bit of entertainment. Cool. Right. That's so you get cool. both the spirits and the sarcasm. Yeah. And, I mean, what better way to celebrate Mark Twain and the holidays, right? That's what I think. Exactly. That's Kinda awesome. Ease into the holiday spirit yeah. and have a little bourbon along the way. Right. So yes. It should be a great evening. I agree. So, uh, speaking of evening, what evening is this? This is this Friday, December okay. 1st, okay. at the Rialto Banquet Hall on Broadway in Hannibal. Okay. And uh, the doors will open at 630, and the first tasting will be at 715. With the five pours, it should go until about 9.30. Okay. Because we have some other activities. We're going to have uh, some music going on, hors d'oeuvres, a cash bar provided by the folks at the Rialto, and then there'll be some raffle items, 10 to 12 uh, premium type of bourbons that Dave Otto, the gentleman from the Spirit Drinkers Group, will provide, so we know there'll okay. be good bourbons. They're going to be top shelf, probably, they'll yeah. Be good stuff. Yeah. So folks will have an opportunity to bid on those items and some other bourbon affiliated raffle type very of cool items. so it should be a, a great evening bring your friends out and, and just get to hang out sounds awesome what do uh the proceeds benefit here they go directly to the mark twain home foundation but okay. we're specifically using those proceeds this year um, our longtime curator henry sweets who had been the executive director for 40 years now uh, just has a curator title we're going to record his voice of different memories through the years through our properties through the mark twain home an example being 
when President Carter was President of the United States, he came and toured the facility. And one of the exciting things that I always do when we bring new board members on tour our nine properties. And Henry tells different things about renovations and things that happen through the years. We're going to record him doing that. And then we're pricing a QR type of code or whether our visitors will use a headset reliving some of those stories and how we've preserved those very cool home properties. so that's specific this year what those proceeds are going to be that's used for. awesome i'm sure henry has just a wealth uh, of knowledge with all of these buildings he is just captivating when you sit down with him and he can tell you every detail where some of the lumbers came from when the properties have been renovated wow. and so we want to make sure we preserve that for sure and what a way to marry this event with getting the funds to provide that. that so we're awesome. very excited. That is exciting. Very and definitely, exciting. yeah, you don't want to lose that uh, that knowledge. That's that's a really good cause. That's exactly right. Yeah. And Henry is such a wealth of information, and he knows Mark Twain forward and backward. That's been his livelihood there with us at, at the museum. So we're very excited cool. to marry those two items together. Very cool. So if someone wants to come out and support uh, this event, where would they go? <clears throat> Call the Mark Twain home at 573-221-9010 okay. and speak to anybody in the office about uh, tickets or the information is available on our website, marktwainmuseum.org. Okay. And so either one of those gives you the ability to see the information and contact information. Perfect. Now, do they need to res reserve a table or <clears throat> a, a ticket, a spot up front? or uh, We would like for them to. Okay. Right now, as we're only two or three days from the event, we're pretty close to having that sold out. Okay. And um, I will add, tickets are $50 per person. Uh, we were selling a table of eight for $500. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we have any full tables available. I should have checked on that on my website. That's way okay. Up, People, if they want a table, they can give it a, give you a call right. and, and find out if there's some available. Right. Yeah. Somebody's available in the offices at all times to either get that information or uh, our website. Excellent. We'll give all the information. Probably have a little more insight than I do. That's honestly. all right. I think you did great. You get your wealth of knowledge, maybe not as much as Henry, but we won't hold you to that, right? I couldn't be on the same <laughs> level as Henry. That's for sure. That's all right. That's all right. Well, there you go. Spirits and sarcasm to benefit uh, the Mark Twain home foundation check it out it's this weekend uh give steve or uh the the mark twain home foundation a call or a visit on facebook and get your tickets reserved right for sure we All look right. forward to sharing that evening with absolutely. everyone absolutely sounds very very cool well, thank you so much i appreciate you coming in thank you uh-huh coming up next Britt b and ash c we're back for some coffee talk are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event check out utopia event center Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Find furniture for the family room, bedroom, dining room, or home office. With new items arriving every week, discover furnishings and inspiration to create a better life at home. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. And welcome back. It's time for Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. Okay, I gotta say, I missed you so much. Oh, thank you. You're I welcome. You. Okay, so 
uh, Brittany was gone last week, Brittany and Bob actually. And I, I just like, we're this family now that when I don't see you for a while, I kind of go through withdrawals, which I know is a little uh, sad, maybe. I, I felt weird. the same way. Really? And I felt like our, yeah, our news was a little dry. I mean, yeah. we were still pushing it out there. and Yeah, but th I think the personalities that we have here really, really send it home. Yes. Right? Bring it home. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So uh, anyway, the glad last, to see you. Yeah, glad to see you. The last coffee talk we had was, man, almost... So two weeks ago, yeah, and we chatted a little bit about um, some heavy stuff, and then we tried to do some light stuff because that's what we like to do on Coffee Talk. And, a little bit of balance. Um, yeah, we're all about the balance. Yeah. So to touch back on what we talked about the last time was the lawyer shortage, and since then David put out a pretty cool article stating that um, some private defense attorneys have now been appointed up. Yeah. So we were asking what's going to happen if, you know, because to step it back real quick, um, public defense attorneys said that they were no longer taking on more cases. They've had their load for up until the end of the year. So now to fix that problem, um, private attorneys are going to be appointed. And there were up. two. Yeah. that um, Yeah. And it is a step up. It's a special appointment. This isn't like a because I think we were speculating and asking is this like you know indentured servitude do you have to do it right. is it the law right um are they going to draft Brittany and ashley to come in and be these defense <laughs> attorney i mean hey i'm not saying uh, we'd be bad we yeah might, we, we might we not be great probably, we'd probably be pretty good i think we could do that okay yeah anyway, no sorry. no we couldn't not i mean this is it's it's serious like i know it's something that they're asked to do um and you're doing this for a significant i guess not a lot less money than what you would normally be paid for right okay but you're trying to fill like a it's a service to the county for the substantial like void that they're trying sure. to fill so i talked to but they don't get supplemented by any other fund so they just okay so that's what they they get paid the same as a public defender now here's where the issue i think is going to come into play yeah so that's 125 dollars an hour okay and that's been the same way for the last 10 years for a public defender is $125 an hour. That's gonna change here in January and raise to 150. That's, um, you know, a significant difference if we're bringing in private attorneys. Now, who pays for this? It's gonna be the county. This is what this is what I'm questioning and what might be kind of scary, is did the county budget for the fact that we are gonna now pay for some private attorneys? I'm gonna say no, but that's just a hunch. Yeah. Um, and there's, okay, so there's no cap on these hours um, that these private attorneys can oh, go damn. on. So there are some cases right now that a private attorney has taken that's already at, you know, $20,000. Yeah. So what... Yeah, and I'm not where, saying it's like the people juice in the overtime clock, but uh, because I know that some cases, of course, are going to take a long time, a lot of hours, but it's Especially still, because these cases are huge, big cases. That's yeah. the other thing. It's not just a name drawn of the hat. Um, they're, these judges are going to align the lawyers up with things that they know that they can take like on. Like their forte. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not going to put somebody that has you're never not had put like a, a domestic murder case. Abuse special yeah. specialist type lawyer to yes, murder. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to align things up, and you know they're they're making sure it's going to be fine. Um, I don't know. Fine. I don't know if I would want that word associated say, yeah. if I'm going to be defended, but I mean, yeah, it's quite a pickle that we're in. I and so I remember the article that 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 was first written about this and. Um, from what I remember, Kent Snyder was, they reached out to Kent Snyder. I don't remember who they is, sorry. But uh, they didn't get a return phone call back as of uh, as of that article. But I wonder, and, and basically that phone call uh, consisted of there will be resignations. They are imminent. So this problem will worsen if we don't get something figured out. Exactly. So I guess my point or my question would be like the resignations, is it due to the workload? Is it due to other factors do you know any of that I like don't. why or why i don't know but i do know that this is a band-aid that's going to be a very expensive band-aid for the county yeah. i would just like to know is it i mean i'm sure there's got to be some kind of budget to account for this you wouldn't just make this decision without that but yeah. again well, there's I mean, no cap on this this could just keep going and going and going so so we're we're okay so can we not go out and like grab another lawyer from you know and like recruit 
I don't know how that works. I, I don't know either. Because I feel like if there's a shortage, we would want to be recruiting. And I'm not saying that we're not, because again, I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but if you, if four, five defense attorneys is not enough, what are we doing to solve the problem long term? And what, um, yeah, I guess like what, what issues are we going to face in the, in the midterm and mm -hmm. how do we kind of bridge that gap? Yeah. And it, these are all good questions. Right? I don't, yeah. I w see, it, we need to reach out to somebody because there's, I know you got some Intel, yeah. right? But yeah, we need to reach out to somebody in the County board, I guess, to figure out what is the solution to this. Yeah. Are they, so they're the ones in charge of this or is it? Yes. Okay. To pay for this, but not to like recruiter or maybe you don't know. I don't know about yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. We need some more information because I feel like this is, uh, it's a big problem, not just because it seems like crime is shooting through the roof. Yeah. Right. But then you need people, uh, to defend, give, give a fair and speedy trial. I mean, along with the fair and speedy trial, you're also going to probably potentially lower the bar to some things. Like you're going to have some three-year law students is, you know, like on these licenses that they, they, they can't handle. I don't yeah. know. Like it's, um, yeah, I don't, an, another hefty, I, that just seems like you're putting, I mean, I wouldn't want someone's fate in my hands if I didn't have full, uh, confidence in myself. Yeah. And I definitely wouldn't want my fate in someone's hands that I didn't have confidence in. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, if this any, is a big deal, if, but if anything, they're getting, uh, a Christmas present because you're getting, well, a, getting the, you're getting yeah. a, a private defense attorney right. at the rate of a public defense attorney for the county. You're not paying anything, yeah, because you have your right to a public yeah. defender. So, so you're getting top shelf for the price of exactly. Merry Christmas, right? Merry Christmas from the Adams County, right? Board. From the from the county taxpayers right i mean that's gonna it's gonna come it's out it's gonna of, affect somebody i don't yeah. know we'll need to find that out but yeah uh yeah all they want for christmas is a speedy and fair trial yep and all the lawyers want is to be fairly compensated and maybe a workload off their back right yeah yeah so hopefully everybody gets what they want this christmas yeah speaking of that how'd you like that segue i like it's pretty it. okay Ooh, huh segue okay. right so uh speaking of christmas I've been seeing this little, I don't know if it's a short, a reel, I don't know what you call it, TikTok, whatever, but you you sent it to me and another one of my girlfriends posted it. It's this little girl and it's like, I remember years ago, all she wanted was dolls and- uh, Pajamas, pajamas princess pajamas. Yep, uh, and you know, maybe a couple other little things. And now, what do teenagers want? Everything, but Expensive. nothing is less than $100. Oh yeah. It was the pre tween. What is it? The pre tween. Pre tween. Is, is whatever. I don't know. Pre tween queens. Golly, uh, everything man. is less. Is I mean, it costs at least a hundred dollars of on the list that they want. It's insane. And, it, and you used to be able to spend a hundred dollars, and you know. Yeah. So dollars don't go as far, but also it seems like preteens, tweens, teenagers, whatever you you want to call them they have more expensive taste now. And mm -hmm. I'm sure it has to do with social media. I'm oh, sure yeah. it has to do with trends. Um, but I was thinking back when I was 13, all I wanted, and th this was expensive back then, which they are still today. I wanted Doc Martens, flare jeans, oversized Grateful Dead sweatshirt. And, and all those things and are- And a beeper. And all those things are back, except and for the beeper. And they are all back. Actually, the beeper, they're I probably the bringing it back. come back, yeah, because that would be cool. Then I wouldn't have to have my phone on me all They're the bringing back those like Tamaguchi yeah, Pet I had things. one of those too. So like, yeah. I mean, the beeper will be yeah. it's the next. 2024 it's And then Christmas. the see-through uh, landline phone. You remember that? Oh yeah. Like the handheld receiver that was see-through. Oh yeah. yeah. some cool shit back then. Anyway. It's, yeah. But today, so, and I'm sure our girls. Today it's names. It's, it is. Name, name, name. So I'm it sure our girls the have the Kinder same Scott stuff. necklaces, yep. mm -hmm. the Lululemon leggings. Sol the, de Janeiro. Um. I'm going to know Pura if I'm saying that Vida, right. I don't know. Yep. Like those bracelets. I yep. Have just so much stuff. Anything Sephora. Mm-hmm. Like Claire put on her list um, Brazilian <laughs> bum bum cream. And I'm like, <laughs> why does a 13-year-old need cream for your buttocks? <laughs> your bum bum. But I don't think it's just for that. No. I think they use it everywhere. Yeah. But I'm like, I just, how do you even hear about this crap? 
it's, it's TikTok. social media. It's gotta be. It yeah. is. Um, I was just Ugg slippers, which I can get down on. I mean, Ugg slippers yes. that you can wear as shoes. Yeah, I could. I like that. I could handle that. But again, super expensive. So on my return back, the it was Cyber Monday, and I all my bar peeps were asking me what to get their girlfriends, their wives, their any, you know. And mm -hmm. I was talking about beach jewelry, which is actually something I was kind of wearing. Love it. And got it. It was Lotus and Luna is the brand. It's on I've heard um, of that. both the coasts. And as soon as I said that, yeah, my phone picked that up. And now, now it's I'm everywhere. seeing um, Lotus and Luna advertisements. Yep. And they have um, waterproof jewelry, like uh, like metals, I think. Yeah. That is, I could I could use some of that too, because I'm terrible on, on jewelry. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, waterproof would be good for me. But A good place to get jewelry, I found out, um, that you wouldn't think it's outside of the box. Like this beach type of jewelry uh -huh. is at Emerald City Jewelers. Yeah. Um, you would always think, fancy yes yeah but they have a, they're they're a little outside the box there yeah. they think they a have a diverse selection yeah so if you're looking for local um and you're looking for stuff like this i would check out there i know the lotus and luna online they serve as something charitable as long i like those ones those beach wear jewelry that the, has yeah. some kind of charitable. cleaning up the oceans or something 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 yeah yeah you say it's something good i'm like yeah cool I'll wear yeah it. fine yeah <laughs> what you're getting rid of that Merry straw Christmas. in the ocean yeah <laughs> right merry christmas i know that's hard so every and okay tell me what you think about this i feel like we've talked about it before but so uh everybody's asking for lists tell me what you want yeah. it's exhausting I agree. i'm like i'm not sending you claire's list because you're gonna be like who does she think she is right it, i mean she has some piddly things on there too but for the most part she wants everything cool just like everybody else yes. does nora wants everything that is going to end up just stuffed in a closet somewhere because she you know yes whatever so i'm like because it looked cool at the time yeah and then she unwraps it like the surprise things and the garbage goes on the floor and then the little toy goes on the floor and then i step on it and then i throw it away <laughs> you know so i'm like i don't want to send people a list like this so i'm like i don't know they love everything just get them something oh you are making those people so mad i know <laughs> but i also and i tell my mother-in-law this i hate giving the directions lists because i like surprises i don't want to tell you oh hey get me this i'll just get it myself right i want to be would you I want know, something would you i mean some things no but those things i don't want to ask for either because if i'm not willing to buy it for myself i don't want to put it the burden on someone else and be like i won't buy this for myself will you buy it for me but also i like gifts that are from the heart even I like if that. Yeah. Even if they're not necessarily my style, although people that are close to me, it doesn't take much to kind of get to know the, I mean, you even got me a shirt that is spot on perfect. But don't so, you feel bad if it's not your style and then they give you something and then you have to hold on to it and because you can't throw it away. No, I return it. Really? Yeah. But what if, okay, that's not an option. Say they ordered it online and it's like this t-shirt that says Ashley's house, Ashley's, Ashley's kitchen, yeah, get out. Yeah. I wear that shit to bed. Okay. <laughs> Would you though? I mean, no, no. I mean, I, I think it's, I guess that's the point where lists come in yeah. to avoid waste is how I look at it yeah. where it's nice like that. But I mean, a but good see, thoughtful gift. There's, there's nothing. There's that nothing beats better. That. Yeah. But, and I feel like I'm easy to buy for, but if you ask anyone there, everyone's like, you're impossible to buy for because I do buy a lot of stuff for myself, but I think that you can go anywhere and be like oh this looks like ash do you buy is. a lot of stuff for yourself during christmas while you're yeah me too yeah i that's just bought the, like four the, things that's like the only morning. time i think i actually do it like when you say oh i, I would just get it for myself if i want it i think only during this time i don't know oh, i'm always treating you myself say this i don't i'm always treating myself really? so, yes i never tell myself okay, no Ariana that's why I, that's why i'm in trouble see you it. know because I i'm like it. I bought it. <laughs> I wanted. I bought it. That's true because I, and I know that's why I get myself in trouble this time of time of year because people are like, "You have everything." Yeah, I do buy what my I. My mom's want. always asking me like, "What to get Mike?" And I think he's the most difficult person to buy yeah, for. Yeah, but that's when you go on like Etsy. So I found this thing, and I don't know. He probably may or may not like it, but it was like, um, and maybe he has it. You make guitar picks out of anything, any. Plastic she got him wood. that one year okay. and now he would no it's not yeah. okay also he, he likes these really well i probably even shouldn't go into it but yeah he likes like tortoise shell 
you okay, can, I, I don't found, think you're supposed to. Um, also found some that are made out of like a bourbon barrel. So you can pick what bourbon barrel and they like Ooh, make a guitar, right? That's so, cool. And then you can have it engraved. Um, also, I found this thing and I like to, this is where my mind goes. When you have that person who's impossible to buy for, get them a gift card, but put it in like a fun box. So I got, I found on Etsy and other places, these like, um, it's almost like a puzzle box, like a Da Vinci puzzle where you have to figure it out before you can get it get into oh, that's the gift cool. right so yeah. it's a little bit more fun than just gifting a gift card but Man. you know what i told her what and it's not that his okay so he's a, he's got this newfound love or obsession with mouth cleaning which i'm fine with like oh. he has a water pick and everything oh my god i was gonna be like get him some crest white strips not that he needs them but yeah. even for myself when i go to like buy them for myself uh-huh. you don't want to spend they're expensive they're yeah expensive. that's something i don't like to spend money on there but, you go okay yes, white strips but oh when when you're giving those are then people are gonna be like Thanks. no so here's here's an idea too if it's for the for the mouth the clean mouth lovers um there's a there it's like a new teeth to like toothbrush teeth whitener in two in one takes 30 seconds it's like a tray you put in i've seen those. right i want to try that though the only problem with that is you don't want to give a gift that's going to be a lemon so if they put it in they're like this and is a piece of crap and it doesn't work yeah but still i don't know but i mean i don't know what the difference is i guess between teeth whitening and then giving people perfume it's like oh do you think i stink so yeah well so I, I like know. I like a good perfume. I like a good perfume too, and I like hard to white give. strips. Hard to give though because different perfumes smell different on different people. So, if you can find like the sample pack or maybe a gift card to like create your own scent. Yeah, there okay. are some people. Okay, I know we're just ranting right now. But I know. No, I'm giving. I think this need is good to, because they we're need giving to lay ideas. off the perfume. Yeah, there's a reason why uh, humans get along with each other. It's because we are attracted to pheromones. Pheromones, mm -hmm. and so when you're dousing on that perfume or cologne or whatever it is i always heard it was cologne if it was under a hundred dollars and perfume if it was over that was oh the, really i thought it was male nope cologne mm -mm, female it has to do with perfume. price huh price point and what about learned that oidy in, toilet learned, learned that in my <laughs> burgner's <laughs> day you you did work at burgers didn't you no my friend did but oh. i was there all the time <laughs> <laughs> i thought i remembered you behind the perfume counter so cologne counter yeah, yeah, but lay off the perfume. Let your natural smell yeah. waft. Or buy Sol de Janeiro, <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't even think I'm saying that right. Think, Sorry <laughs> if I'm not. But. I hope we get plugs for all of this. Right? And when Bum we, bum cream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. iPhones. See, I'm like, right? She wants an iWatch, or she wants an Apple Watch, yes. iPhone, Sephora, uh, Sol de Janeiro, which I think is Sephora. Kendra Scott. Uggs, Kendra Scott. Uh, any, which I think it's weird that kids at 13 are like face serums and anti, -ri I mean, That's, it's genius because yes. if they, if I would have started earlier, maybe I wouldn't look like this, oh, but, stop. but at the same time, I can't remember ever being like, you know what I need? Hyaluronic serum for my face at 13. You know, <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, I'll take a pager. <laughs> I want a Dude, I need a beeper. I want a Tamaguchi. Yeah. Go ahead and get me, uh, what was the other thing? Oh gosh. Oh, that yak back thing that I posted. Yeah. Like you talk into it, it would change your voice. You'd be like. <laughs> For some reason, that was the coolest thing. Yeah, I was at such 13, a dork, though. Yeah, at 13, I was not asking for serum. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -mm. I was going to bring a picture of me versus a picture of Claire at this age because the the juxtaposition is hilarious. That's the other ones I see. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I mean, I look like a straight up total dork. Oh, so do I. And she is like put together. Like, oh, she's it, just it's like she's your little sister almost. Yes. Looking. Yeah. I feel the same way with She's my way cooler today than I was at that age. It's because she, they've got cool moms. Yeah, it's the influence. That's what I'm gonna say. It's our It's not influence. TikTok. No, it's us. It's us. It's, hey. it's us. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Well, there you go for our like Christmas ideas, if you have teen girls, boys, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. But just get them. It can't some, be that hard. No. No. I wouldn't think. But anyway, get them um, some um, cash and yeah. I don't food. know. Food. Food. I think. Yeah. But gift cards. If you have any ideas uh, for boys or girls, send I them our hear way them because I do still have people to buy for. So, okay. I think the next yeah. couple of coffee talks, we are going to try and give some good gift ideas yeah. coming up. So keep yeah. 
All right. Send those in to us. Send them in. We'll share them and we'll share our own. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. So good to have you back. It's so good to have you too. Okay. All Cheers. right. Cheers. That does it for today's Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. Muddy River News, our home, our news.